it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing another haul today because that is what this channel has essentially turned into. Hope you guys love it as much as me. A few days ago, um, I decided to hop on BakerBookHouse.com, which is, you know, my go-to place, obviously. And they are doing this wonderful thing that if you pre-order books through them, the books are less than $10. And like, that beats Amazon's prices. That's saying a lot because Amazon fights a lot of bakers' normal prices anyways. So, if you pre-order books, you can get them for $9.59 if they are published by Bethany House or Ravel. Glorious, glorious, glorious. glorious amounts of money, amount. right? Super cheap, love it, totally me. I pre-ordered a ton of books. <laughs> I think I have most of my pre-orders in up until like May of next year. There's a few that I still need to pre-order, but essentially I got my pre-orders in. But in that process, I found a couple books that I needed and also a few books that were coming out like soon and I needed to buy them as well. So I just went ahead and pre-ordered them and I knew because I've already gotten Soul Raging, which I'm not showing in this video. Um, I got Soul Raging by Ronnie Kendig the other day. And that book doesn't come out till November 3rd. And I knew they already had it in their warehouse because I already have it on my shelves. And I pre-ordered it. So there were a few books that are coming out in November that I knew I would get as soon as I ordered. So I did that too. This is very long uh, of an explanation to say. I'm doing a little bit, like a portion of that order today as well as a small Amazon order that I went ahead and put in as well. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into it. Also, I've purchased more books since then. I keep going on Baker and someone really needs to stop me. So I have a couple other books coming in the mail this week, but they won't be in this video because, well, they're coming later this week and I'm filming today. So yeah. If you'd like to see what I get, you can follow me on Instagram. Alright, the first book that I got from Baker is actually a gift for my grandmama. And I gave her the first book in the series last year when I got it. I personally don't read this genre, but she loves it. And she really enjoyed the first book, so I pre-ordered her the second book when it came out last October. And she enjoyed that one, and she said something recently about the third book in the series that came out October... October something, I don't remember. 20th. October 20th. That is Softly Blows the Bugle by Jan Drexler and this is book three in the Amish of Weaver's Creek series. Again she's read book one and two and really enjoyed them so I wanted to surprise her and get her this one. I was gonna give it to her at Christmas but I'm gonna fun fact about Alicia. When she buys you gifts she likes to give them to you as soon as she buys them. So Christmas is very hard for me because I wrap my gifts early but then I'm like guys I, I just want to tell you what I got you, but I can't. But I really want to tell but I can't. But I really want to tell you. And it's a problem that I have. The next book I got is... Oh, I'm so excited for it. I just have to preface this to say that I am so excited for it. This book comes out November 3rd as well, but again, we have it in the warehouse. So I got it early, and that is Things We Didn't Say by Amy green you guys I'm super 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 excited about this this is told through letter so it's epistolatory I'm probably pronouncing it wrong please forgive me Jen if I am I mean if you want to embarrass me you can totally put it in there I don't care but if you don't you can edit it out the book is told through letters which I think is super super fun and I'm really excited to read it I did not realize how thick this book was and that makes me very excited because that just means there's a lot of letters and a lot of story. I do already have a copy of this that the author so graciously sent me so I will probably be doing a giveaway with this copy either on Instagram or even here. I might switch it up and do something here. I don't know. We'll see. But this book does come out November 3rd. If you haven't gotten your pre-order in yet, you can. You'll get it before release date if you order it through Baker, and it's still less than $10. The next one I got is a book that's already been out for a little bit. Um, I read the first one earlier this year. I started it last year, didn't finish it, put it down for a very long time, and then picked it up again this year and really enjoyed it. And I think I might read books two and three of the series, um, but we'll see. But I adore the covers with such a deep passion. So 
I bought book two and I pre-ordered book three. And that is The Gilded Lady by Elizabeth Camden. And this is book two in the Hope and Glory series. Uh, book one is The Spice King and book three is The Prince of Spices. And fun fact, I'm sure you guys know, but if you didn't, when the three books are together, they will make a full picture. Um, it's about three siblings and I... I'm very excited to see the covers together. I am interested to read this book and the third book. I think it'd be very, very cool. I just don't know when I'm gonna get to it. So please don't hold yourself to that, Alicia. You're gonna be disappointed. And the last book that I got from Baker in this go round is a book that I did not know existed and I am so glad that I was looking around because I stumbled upon it and I'm very excited. Uh, I think I talked about the first book that I read by this author last year, the year before. It was called Pretty in Punxsutawney. Mm, probably saying that wrong too. I adored that book so much and I talk about it all the time. I feel like nobody reads it. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. It makes me sad because I love the book so much and I can't fangirl with my sister about it because she doesn't read and it makes me sad. Can't fangirl with anybody else because nobody read it and it's been so long since I read it so I probably kind of sort of maybe kind of sort of forgot what's happening. But the same author came out with Freaky in Fresno and it's by Lori Boyle Crompton and the... Lana Cross says, a movie buff, a beauty queen, and one wild ride. And essentially, it's like Freaky Friday. So stepsisters, I think they're stepsisters, that are completely different, like polar opposites, end up like switching bodies, and they have to like do all these things. It's Freaky Friday meets, what does it say? Freaky Friday meets something else, I don't remember. However, I loved Pretty in Punxsutawney so much, and I loved... Like the pop culture references, even though, not gonna lie, I'm not good at those. But I loved it regardless. I love how it made me feel. So I'm very excited to read Freaky and Fresno. I think it'll be super, super fun and just a, a cutesy book. So I bought it. It came out in February. And I'm really upset that I didn't know that it came out. Because I would have pre-ordered this before February. But this is um, by Blink. This is Blink. Blink, 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 Blink. Those are the books that I got from Baker and now I'm going to jump straight into my Amazon haul. I am excited to say that all of these are indie published authors and I love my indie ladies, my indie authors, so I'm super excited that I get to support them in this small way. First I have The Price of Dreams which is book three in the Faith and Fortune series by Tony Shiloh. I bought books one and two a while back. Uh, book three wasn't out at the time um, and now it is so I bought it. I'm very excited to put it on my shelf. The next book I have is If It's Perfect by Summer Dell, and this book just released pretty recently actually and I got to read an early copy of it and it's so stinking cute. It's adorable. It is a clean rom-com and I love it. I don't know what else to say. It's cute. It's about a baker who's like a perfectionist like, like slash germaphobe and just a wonderful swoony hero and I'm all for it. My review should be up on my blog very shortly, so if you are interested to hear my thoughts about the book before you buy it, you can head over there and read my review. Summer's books are amazing. I absolutely love her, and I'm super excited to add this to my collection. All right, the next two books I have finish off a series, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show them real quick. And that is The Heiress's Convenient Husband by Regina Scott, and this is book two in the Grace by, Grace by the Sea series. And I got book three, which is The Artist's Healer, and also book three in the Grace by the Sea series by Regina Scott. I have book one, which is The Matchmaker's Rogue, and I should have had my, not, here's a little squirt of honesty for y'all. Uh, I should have had my reviews up for these a while back. Life got in the way, and I have yet to read them, so I decided that I was just going to go ahead and buy the books off Amazon because I read better in paperback anyways. And I was just going to go on a Regina Scott review binge. So be on the lookout for my reviews of the Grace by the Sea series. I'm very excited to read it and see if it will hold a candle to the Fortune Bride series. Because I think that might be my favorite one by her so far. And the last book that I got in this haul is something that I wanted to get the day it released. But I wasn't able to. And I hate that I had to wait this long. But I got it and that's all that matters. And that is The Colors of Truth by Tamara Alexander. And this is book two in her Carton series. If you 
don't know the situation surrounding this book. I'm going to go into a little bit of it. Uh, it was a quite a bit of a hot topic in the Christian fiction community. Tamara Alexander was, or is, I'm not sure what they're going to do in the future, but she was contracted to write this series in particular with Thomas Nelson. She's written for Thomas Nelson for years, and this book was supposed to come out July 6th. They asked Tamara to push it back just because of the unrest in the world at the time, uh, just because of the time period and the setting that this book is set in. They just wanted to cover their bases as a publishing house, I'm assuming. Um, but at the time, they didn't ask her to change anything in the story, so Tamara was fine with writing, and they pushed the release date until October 6th. Well, then they got in contact with her again and asked her to change portions of the story, which she just did not feel comfortable with doing, and so they pulled her contract for book two and book three, and now Tamara is self-publishing this with her small house, her publishing house that she owns, which is Fountain Creek Publishing, and it still came out October 6th. She still has plans to write the third book in the series. It will just come out with her independently, or her, her small publishing house. So I definitely, I've read book one, which is with this pledge, and it was amazing. It won a Christie last year, and it was, it deserved that honor. It was so, so, so good. So I know she's going to tackle this one very, very, very well. She'll handle it the same way she handled with this pledge. But it's going to be accurate. It's going to be historically accurate. It's just, it's, it's going to be great because this is Tamara Alexander, and she's the queen of this time period, and she's just the queen of chunky books that make you swoon, sigh, and cry all at the same time. So, I'm very excited about this book, I'm very excited about the third book, and I'm super excited to be supporting Tamara in everything that she does, because I just have such a respect for her after this whole thing. I mean, I did before, but it's, it's a little different now. So, I just love her, and I am super excited about this book, and that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I'm excited. All right, so these were the books that I got, my little haul. I'm going to stick them right here. I don't know if you can see them all on the camera. I, I don't know what you guys can see. So those are the books that I got. I'm very, very happy with my little haul and all the other books that I ordered that I haven't gotten here yet. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and the hauls that this channel is essentially turning into. It will change, I promise. I have, I have, I have plans. Life has just been a little, a, little, a little crazy. Don't forget you can follow me on my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram where you will see probably quite a few of these books featured at For the Love of Christian Fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Mm -hmm.